The survey is being conducted to determine which school board candidate would best serve the community, which group, when randomly surveyed, would, wrote most, would likely produce the most bias. Okay, again, with surveying, you have a population to look at, right? But you can't survey everybody. You want to pick a smaller sample, right, that represents the most people possible. So here, let's see which of these groups are, are not representative of, of the entire community. 15 employees of the school district. Well, that's really going to be biased because everyone is going to only be really working at the school. So their influences will be driven by the school, not by everything the community needs. 25 people driving past the school will certainly produce less bias. We don't know where they're going. It could be going to random places, although still that might be pretty biased because they're all working near the school probably or living around the school. 75 people who enter Yonkers grocery store is even a better, it's a larger sample set. 75 is larger than 25 and 15, and they're shopping. Now, everybody needs to buy groceries. We're assuming that the people in the grocery store, unless it's some kind of really high-end or low-end grocery store, will be less biased. 100 people who visit the shopping mall. Since most people are able to go shopping, um, it's not going to represent everybody in the community, especially the people who can't afford to go shopping, but 100 people there will be better than any other choice here, or at least or less biased. Um, the worst is the smallest sample size here um, because they all work in one place, not just because it's the smallest group. All right, keep going.